Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, been a while. Let's talk about week 11. So if history is any sort of a guide, many, uh, I could even venture to say most of you will take advantage of the extended due date for the research project. And that's completely your prerogative with the understanding that you will keep up with your week 11 work, which is what uh, I'm here to talk to you about, hopefully very briefly. I always make these uh, dumb promises to keep screen uh, casts short and they never are, but I think this one actually can be short. So uh, by Thursday, November 9th, we have to talk about a couple of things. Uh, by 9 a.m., you need to get yourself on an SA5 team. The fifth essay, our final essay, is collaborative, which means you're going to write it with other people. So you and uh, no more than maybe two to three of your, your, your compatriots here will be on a team, okay? Put your name somewhere. Swap out team four, whatever whatever uh, uh, column your team chooses. Try to come up with a team name, okay? Uh, just because it helps me kind of keep things sorted uh, amongst you as well. So as I say here, uh, teams of three or four are by far the most successful, but you want to go, I mean, I've had teams go as high as seven. Uh, you want to you get on a team with six other people and have your fate tied to six other people. Um, that's your business. And you're going to learn something in that process, uh, and I, I will be happy to let that process teach you that thing. But uh, uh, and this is, you know, my education background and, uh, you know, my my education uh, talking when I say that, you know, teams of three or four are by far the most successful because issues of accountability, availability, uh, responsibility, all those things sort of fall in pretty nicely when you are only responsible for a few other people uh, on, on a common project. OK, uh, if you want to do a team of two, if you just. Um, Want to work with one other person uh that's okay by me that also comes with problems uh, or potential problems i'd say that you could probably predict um basically that if the the person that you're paired up with doesn't do the work then you're kind of on the hook to do all of it and that's its own challenge of course so you want to you want to roll with any numbers you know any any size of team uh, I'm, I'm i'm open to it but believe me three or four is going to be your best bet okay uh, i don't care who's on which team i expect you to sort that out yourself some instructors I hear, uh, you know, uh, in the rumor mill that they just, uh, they assign people to teams and that, that I'm, I'm, I hope that works for them. I couldn't imagine doing that to you all. Uh, so please figure it out for yourselves. Um, who wants to be on uh, whose team? If you want to stick with your school, stick with your mod or your class, your classroom that, you know, you can see the advantages to that, but plenty, plenty of people uh, work virtually. This is ultimately like, you know, like I have to say often, it's a Stark State class and it's also an online class. So in theory, you should be able to do all this stuff you know, digitally, virtually, anyway. So uh, please be responsible on the spreadsheet. Some people are better at this than others, but type your name and your name only. Don't mess with anybody else's stuff. That's always the risk when I let anybody edit a common document. Uh, if your name gets at, at all messed with, uh, please let me know and uh, I will fix ish. I will fix it. I hope that that doesn't come up though. Okay, uh, by 9 a.m. Thursday, I am going to uh, get, you know, one of my, check it out, you wanna see it? I will get one of my uh, handy dandy rosters here, right, with your your names all on them, uh, that I that I use to keep some of my bookkeeping. And um, I, if you're not on a team, here's what's going to happen: I'm going to put you on a team, and I'm going to put you on a team if, if the numbers work out. And they usually do. Uh, I'm going to put you on a team of all the other people who didn't sign up for a team. Uh, it's going to be like this little island of misfit toys type of thing. Uh, and uh, those teams never, uh, they've done okay a couple of times, but the broader trend is that they uh they struggle so make sure you find yourself a team or jump on a team and if you are just putting your name on the spreadsheet if you're just gonna say oh look here's a team with uh, three other people that is on you to contact them get through blackboard you can uh, reach out to me for their email addresses if you're just going to jump on a team that's already existing um you want to make sure that that team is kind of cool with it uh and also that i'm cool with it and um beyond that um you know just make sure you introduce yourself if you're uh, jumping on a team uh let's see so 100% locked by 9 a.m. Thursday. Nobody's moving teams. Nobody's going to put in any special requests because you have work to do. So uh, I want your team established before uh, the end of the week. And I want to give you, you know, sort of all day Thursday and all day Friday, more or less, to begin work on the collaborative essay. Okay. Um, all my decisions are final. I, I, I use all caps. I, I'm yelling at you here, but uh, I don't want any drama to come up uh, as a result of picking teams. So please, uh, let's not be too high school cafeteria about it. All right. Thank you. And uh, thank you in advance.
Okay, um, you have screencast about the collaborative essay um, and about the collaborative presentation that I made uh, previously. Uh, I believe uh, uh, those screencasts are a year old, so uh, no no webcam. Sorry for that. I know that those make so for some reason people watch the webcam videos more than the non webcam videos, but uh, I'm pretty happy with those, and so I'm going to let them stand. If you um, are confused or anything, or if uh, I refer to a date that doesn't make sense, well, that's just going to be a, a byproduct of me using an older video that I'm happy with. These things are hard work to prepare and to uh, execute correctly. And so when I when I sort of when I stick one, uh, I tend to cling to it for a while because it's kind of like lightning striking. So you're going to write an essay and you're also going to uh, complete a uh, a presentation. Okay, uh, according to the, the guidelines that I get, get into in those uh, those screencasts, and I'll probably do a quick one too to walk you through movie review websites just so you kind of know what they what they look like or you know what I'm looking for uh, in terms of you using them. Okay, uh, our final, oh, sad trombone, our final reader response of the semester uh, is going to be of a movie review. So pick a movie that is uh, coming out this weekend. Pick a movie that you always want to read more reviews of. Uh, pick a classical movie. There's lots of different ways to find a movie review, but I want you, you want your reader response to be uh, in conversation with a movie review. Uh, let's go full screen here, or at least let's go bigger. Let's let's be clear about this. Uh, your reader response is meant to be a response to the review of a movie, not the movie itself. I don't want your review of a movie. I want your uh, response to a review of a movie. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, um, so the, the assignment for the reader response, I don't even have to click on it. It's just a, a couple of the questions are a little tweaked to suit the nature of responding to a review. Okay, you with me so far? I hope so. Uh, as always, if you have questions, let me know. All right, so once your group is settled, and that's you know that's why it's really important to get on a team on this spreadsheet as soon as you can. I don't think anybody signed up for a team yet. So let's see, nobody's hiding over here in a corner. Okay, so no one signed up yet. Um, that's okay. But once you are on a team, you have to come up with a team name. And if you don't want to be, you know, uh, think about what you all have in common. Uh, figure out something that you want to. Uh, be called, you know, and uh, at the very least, come up with a spirit animal. What's your team's spirit animal and call yourselves that? If you're the, you know, laughing alpacas, I think was one I had before. So uh, if you want to be the laughing alpacas, go for it. Uh, you're going to create a single document for your essay five that can come down the pike, I guess. Um, your doc title um, should be your team name, just so I don't lose track of who I'm looking at. I'll be able to. Uh, Basically, I'm going to print this sheet once it's all filled out, and so I know who's on which team and whose work I'm looking at. So it'll be a little easier for me to reference the team name than anything else. Ooh. Blackboard, <laughs> not uh, Angel anymore. All right, so uh, you'll email me about your potential theme. Um, that will make sense once you read the assignment. Uh, and then you will uh, complete your team's discussion posts. Uh, so it, you don't have to necessarily do all these things in order. Um, you can kind of work on them all at the same time, or you can kind of you know check each box uh, as you're working down down the list. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll double check on Blackboard. Blackboard was down once again this morning. <laughs> uh, so hopefully it's back up, and I'll be able to uh, confirm that this discussion post is uh, in the shape that it want that I want it to be in. And then um, just you know as a, a opening discussion of the presentation that you have to create, there are lots of ways to create visual presentations. If you have a, if someone on your team uh, is particularly good at Movie Maker or iMovie, um, that's probably your path of least resistance there. You'll be in good shape if you stick with those. But there are plenty. I'm using one now, Screencast-O-Matic. There are plenty of you know uh, online open source sort of software that you don't have to download. It's just uh, you know out there. Um, online that you can use and there's a whole list. If um, I should add anything to this list, please let me know. Uh, I'm always out there looking for the newest thing. And I, um, some of these I, I just added to this list, but uh, if there's, there are other video generation, you know, uh, options that I'm not, that, that I haven't listed, please let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to add it to the list and I'll be uh, grateful for you. I'd probably do you some sort of a favor, maybe like a short extension on a project, on, a, on an assignment or something, uh, if you want to help me in that way. Okay. Um, and then, you know, collaborating is, uh, it is you know, going to be sort of a digital, enterprise for us uh, for this, you know, at least in, in theory. So there's lots of ways to collaborate uh, that aren't Google Drive. I think Google Drive is just fine for that. You should be able to do most of what you need to do if you create like an agenda document, uh, you know, the sort of checklist of who's doing what and deadlines to, by which they're done. Uh, that would be a useful document to not only for your team to reference to, but uh, also for me to look at by the end of uh, 
the uh, by the end of our time together uh, by the time you turn this assignment in. But you know, VoiceThread is absolutely awesome. If you haven't used VoiceThread yet, you really should try. You can call into it. You can create videos. You can text. It's it's really uh, it's a great way to sort of synchronize work. And then these other ones are all I've seen that all, all these work in varying degrees of success. Okay. Um, one other thing. Uh, there's a comment over here. So you'll be grading each other for this assignment. Um, that is to say, you're going to be writing about who did what. And so you'll need to keep a really strong um, sense of documentation with you throughout the entire collaborative process, who was helpful, who did what, who was reliable, who wasn't. Um, because uh, even though the essay itself gets one grade, everyone else, everybody individually earns their grade on this project. And one of the main determining factors that I'll use is what your other teammates end up saying about your contributions. Okay, so if you uh, if everybody agrees that you worked harder than everyone else, well, that might raise your grade a little bit. And if especially though, uh, the flip side of that, if everybody's saying that you were hard to get in touch with, that you didn't answer emails and texts, that you uh, turned in your work, you know, super last minute or even worse, late or not at all, uh, I read all those things before I read the essay, and I know kind of who did what, and it gives me a sense of how the project came together or didn't and why. Uh, and so documenting, uh, again, my strong suggestion is to create a, a Google Drive doc that you can share with your teammates and with me uh, that is like a, a, a task sheet, you know, sort of uh, here's who's doing what and here's our deadlines. Here's, you know, when you need to have X, Y, and Z done by. Uh, that way, it's a sort of a common sheet that everyone can refer to so that uh, you're all on the same page about who's doing what. That way you don't overlap the work that uh, gets done and you also have a clear sense of who's contributing what. And um, also there's a document that you can use uh, the, the, to refer to when you do write your uh, your, your reflections on it. Okay, so uh, my I, I may even add that in here as a, as a suggestion that you uh, create a document that manages your tasks. Uh, okay, so um, I love this assignment. It's one of my uh, favorite ones. I figure we all have some working knowledge of movies. And so this is a, a movie-based uh, uh, collaborative essay that hopefully gets you not only to uh, think about what makes for a complex theme, but also, uh, you know, maybe you'll have to watch a movie or two that uh, you hadn't otherwise known about. And as always, guys, I'm happy to help you with every single phase of this. So uh, if you get stuck coming up with movies, I love talking movies. Love it, love it. So I'd be happy to jump in with your team. Uh, if you're all going to have a Google Hangout, um, you know, our, our you know Google accounts allow us to you know all be in one thing. I would love to uh, jump in on one of your Google Hangouts if you have one. I can help you set one up if you have uh, uh, you know if you want to. Um, include me at that level. Uh, I will be as full on a teammate as you would like outside of actually doing the work for you. Uh, I would I would love to uh, have an inside view of how all of your work gets done. So please let me know uh, how I can do that. Uh, good luck uh, and keep in touch. Okay. Thanks.